the sleepy town tucked between Tiati and Sagat Hills. Tot Center looks quiet, as if concealing what most have learned to forget. The greenery of these hills herald prosperity for this little town in the heart of Elgeo Maraquet County. But from Mze Ernest Kipkeo or Chepteren, as is known here, the dark era dating back to 1950s when the area was turned into a bloodbath of the Maraquet is still fresh in his mind. Young Fisher, uh, Uko uh, Pakot, Pakati, was a Walkwana na na worker as I in me, Msingayao Yasai Uko. Our oh, Pakot Wali Paipa. The raiders, mainly the Pakot from Tiati, who stole beehives, then became more sophisticated, replacing the traditional bows and arrows with guns as they moved from stealing beehives to goats. Wachin, Yongosu Akutanishawa, Kidogu Dogo. As the appetite for cattle rustling grew, so was the demand for bigger herds. In payment for dowry as well as raising their stature in society of being the most revered and feared warriors. Asima, si kama wao, wakisema ndio huu msichana, unapeleka ngombe kumi safari moja hivyo. Hapo hakuna bargain. Kama una gumi, mungine mwanyako na gumi ananyakua. Kwa wapichana, walikuwa naambiwa na wase, muta weka nini kama mari, mapipi yenyu, mnaoa. Kwenza leto mali yenyu. Wakati walipata ya kwanza, wengine wakwenda sarauliwa, mnuko nini na, na wase wawo. Mlitoa nini angalia yangu. Walikuwa nakute kuchukua ngombe na mbusa. The raiders then embarked on a more military style of raiding as they took reconnaissance studying the Maraquet before launching their attacks. Atulikuchagamani <laughs> Tired of being raided with the government aloof and unresponsive to the plight of the Maraquet, the locals decided enough was enough and called upon their local Maraquet youth to step forth and defend their tough. At that time, the Fijana will drop out of school. But this came with a heavy price. The raiders began to choose targets that would inflict much pain and apprehension. The stoic Yossi and Sagat hills stand resplendent. Beneath is taught sub-county hospital. This was the scene of a gory sight when parents and their children were killed in cold blood by bandits in 1999. It was untold anguish and suffering as mothers and their children lay dead, all because they came out from the call by the government to get immunization. <laughs> In part two of our series, Kerio Valley, From Killings to Prosperity, we talk about Murkuto Massacre. Stay tuned. Judith Akolo, Channel 1, Maraquet Sub-County.